welcome to James Alessa's Express Lane, where we get you out as fast as possible. As you can see, according to the refs, that's the first down when you're the Packers. Anyways, <clears throat> I think I'll just jump right into it. Number one, the Titans. The last team to win a playoff game without throwing for over 100 yards won the Super Bowl. Titans did that so... I mean, it kind of makes sense, though. Think about it. Why did Lamar Jackson throw for over 350 yards? Because he had to. They were down, so he had to get the ball down the field. Best way to do that is to throw. Ryan Tannehill didn't need to throw because they were winning and trying to burn out time on the clock. You drop a pass, clock stops. You run the ball for three yards, or with Henry, 13, 15, 20, 25, 30. He could go all the way! Which then stops the clock, but you get another touchdown, so hey. <laughs> Pretty much the Titans did what the Vikings wanted to do, run the ball, and holy shit, they did it two weeks in a row. Amazingly. Like, neither week did any of the de defenses go, you know what? We should try to stop the run. Nah, let's not stop the run. But why do we want to stop the run? Stopping the run is for idiots. Oh, hey, we lost. <laughs> Anyways, number two, 49ers. After beating the Saints last week, I really had hope the Vikings would make a good game of it. And the 49ers laughed all the way to the NFC Championship game. Jimmy G's first win in the playoffs as the starter and attempting to get a Super Bowl ring that he earned and not for sitting on the bench. Uh, next week's game is going to be very interesting because the Packers, as you can see behind me, again, according to the refs, that's a first down. But then again, think about it. Have they earned a single first down all year? Or is it always, oh no, it's fourth and six. Flag. Phantom hands of the face. Fuck you. On replay, oh, there's no hands of the face. There's no hands. The, the guy's not even the field that they're calling on. Doesn't matter. First down, fuck you. <laughs> Sheesh. I like that. Fourth and inches, nah, first down. Defense stopped him, now it's fourth and six. Better call hands in the face. First down. I don't know why the NFL picked Aaron Rodgers, but I'm thinking maybe because he's younger than Tom Brady and the money the Packers spent on him, they had to show something for it. You don't give your quarterback that much money to set a home during the playoffs. They're probably also thinking that, you know, the other younger QBs out there still have time to get the same spotlight as Rodgers. So screwing them over this year isn't that big of a deal. If the refs NFL weren't rigging games for the Packers, they'd be fourth on the list, but with the refs helping every chance they can, they might just beat the 49ers. Not because they played better, but because there is no fourth downs with the Packers. Just fan their hands to the face and mess up measuring. I don't know about you, but... Oh, crap, my hand disappears because it goes off camera. How the hell is that first down? There he is, down. Well short, easily a 4-2 short. First down. I was like, all right, it's fourth and 12 inches. Yeah, I think maybe they could pound the ball with Aaron Aaron Jones, whatever, whatever the f their running back's name is. They, you're going to tell me they couldn't pound the ball in for that foot? You're going to be like, mm, if they if they don't get this first down, uh, the, the Seahawks may be able to come back and win. We, we can't allow that. we got to make sure Rodgers wins. We'll just call it a first down, bitches. Again, this is the same NFL officiating crew that oh what's that the player didn't even touch the quarterback penalty leading with the helmet the dude fell over yes he fell over face first which i guess would be helmet first but he didn't hit anyone he tripped fell forward leading with the helmet 15 yards or was it the colts where the they call a pass interference on a wide receiver that wasn't involved in the play he was as involved in it as i was they could have called the penalty on me would made as much sense so yeah, what do you expect? Next, number four, the Chiefs. That start. Whew. I know a lot of people were ready to turn the game off, including me. If they didn't just flat out turn it off. And if they did, man, they missed out on one of the greatest comebacks in history. Now, though, the Chiefs have the Titans. Run defense has not been the strongest part, but they have to know the Titans game plan is run, run, run. Of course, so did the Ravens. So did the Titans. And they lost. Yee. 
<sighs> My predictions, though, are Titans over Chiefs. The Titans seem to have it down. Like, all right. And above to him. Yay, we win. Not having to do anything else. Uh, yeah, depending on how many phantom hands it a face, pass interference on offense, on a player that's not even involved in the field, like they did the Coles. How many times they go, yeah, that. I know the first line marker's there, but we're going to say it's here instead. Fuck you. First down. Mm, wait, the Seahawks were a better team. Way better team. Hell, the Lions were a better team in their first meeting, and the refs had to use nine blown calls just so the, ref, the Packers could beat them. So unless the 49ers can score on every drive with having them being called back for phantom hands and the face penalties and other phantom penalties, the Packers refs might just steal this one. So we might be seeing a Titans-Packers Super Bowl, which means Packers win the Super Bowl because the rest going to be like, oh, that's cute. He broke it off for a first down. No, 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 no. There was a holding on that guy sitting on the bench. Fuck you. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me with how rigged they've been this year. Anyways, moving on. Okay, I got to stop ranting about that. But it's been so... Look at this. Look at that picture. That is how blatant they are. Clearly sure by two, maybe even three feet. And I, not three, I'll say two. Two at most, so between one and two feet, so we'll call it split the difference. Short by 18 inches. Clearly short by 18 inches. First down, fuck you. Anyways. For the teams that lost, like the Vikings. All right, they got Kirk Cousins. They can't get rid of him. He costs way too much money to get rid of. All guaranteed. Fuck. But you know what? He wasn't out there dropping passes. Everyone else did. It was Adam Thielen and Stevon Diggs and Kyle Rudolph dropping passes. It wasn't just one player. It was all of them. All of them were like, eh, I don't want the ball. I don't want the ball. Oh, look, the ball's in my hand. Nope. Sheesh. And Dalvin Cook should have been like Henry, and yet, nope. Go to run the ball? Nah, we're not running the ball. Run the ball in the middle? Yeah, it's not going to work. Outside? That's not going to work. Sheesh. And at this point, I don't know where they should put their money into. Vikings tried buying the most expensive online, line Didn't work. Receivers? Didn't work. When they're all dropping the ball. Running back? To Dalvin Cook? Nope. Quarterback? Nope. Defense? They shut down the Saints last week. This week? Nope. I don't know what free agent or rookie they can grab in the draft. Because really, where do you put them? Can't put it at QB because they spent way too much money on Kirk Cousins. So maybe grab a rookie and have him sit behind Kirk Cousins for a year, maybe. But he's not dropping the passes. The greatest quarterback in the world doesn't do you any good if the wide receivers keep dropping the passes. Or running the wrong, running the wrong route. Adam Thielen looked as surprised as everyone else. The ball's coming to him on the interception. Like He's like, huh? Wait, what? The ball's coming to me? Oh, shit, he's got the ball. Run after him. Like, when I first saw him, like, it's like he paused. Like, he just stood there like, huh? Wait, what? I was supposed to get the ball? Then they realized, oh, hey, I don't have the ball. I should probably stop the guy who has the ball because he's not on my team. But also, get rid of the defensive coordinator. Now. I think he might be getting signed to be a coach somewhere, which, good, take him. Guy's atrocious. Guy couldn't call the right play if his life depended on it. Next, go with the Ravens. More wide right receivers. Maybe see if Golden Tate's available. Or no, the vet is a free agent. Grab him. Other than that, maybe a linebacker that is 100,000% run defense oriented. As they're as talented as they are, like they have a bright future ahead of them. But man. But it's not like it was just them. They The Titans did it to the Patriots. The Titans did it to them. The Titans did it to a lot of teams this year. With Ryan Tannehill at quarterback. The guy who wasn't good enough to start on the Dolphins. So, yeah, so except for maybe a wide receiver or, I mean, a nice dump off tight end is always good. Oh, crap, I'm about to be sacked. Tight end here for three yards. About to be sacked. Tight end here for three yards. It's not the most exciting play in the world, but three yards is better than being sacked. Ah, <sighs> poor Ravens. I like that. I'd be like, oh, how's it feel to go 0-2 in the postseason? And his response was, and I'm pretty sure this is that quote. It's my second year in the league. 
It's like, he's not wrong. It took Peyton Manning five years to get a win in the playoffs. Five years to get a win in the playoffs for Peyton Manning. So you know what? Going 0-2 in the playoffs, he's not doing too bad. But since he made it to the playoffs two years in a row. <laughs> Texans. Not the young team that except for maybe a wide receiver and one or two players on defense. I mean, J.J. Watt, he has to retire if he wishes to, you know, be able to move after retirement. So try and find someone to fill his slot. Maybe grab a running back like Kamara or Bell. Some other amazing running back that takes pressure off of Watson. Obviously, they're not going to get Kamara, but I mean a player like Kamara. Oh, and hey, why not dump off tight end? Take the pressure of Deshaun Watson. Because there's several plays where he's running around, running around. It's like, you know, if he had a dump off tight end right there, he wouldn't be running around getting tackled for a loss. He'd be like, oh, tight end. Teams that have those tend to do better than those that don't. Again, it's not the most exciting play in the league, but it's better than getting sacked. Seahawks. Yeah, so you guys beat the Packers. You just couldn't beat the refs. Get a running back that is durable. Get help in the secondary and maybe a rookie quarterback to sit behind Wilson and learn. Or how about mm, wide receiver like Golden Tate? Wait a minute. He used to play for them. Then they get rid of him because they're idiots. Everywhere Golden Tate has gone, he's, he's done well. Oh, what? They have a shit-tacular quarterback who can't throw the ball? He still does okay. Why teams? I don't know why teams get, keep getting rid of him. It's got to be a locker room issue, I'm sure. But still, as good as he is, why? Get rid of him. Keep him. Any team with him on that is probably going to be a better team. Just saying. Anyways, ignoring that first that first down. <laughs> Hopefully next week for the championship games, it will be amazing games. Amazing gameplay. No refs screwing it up. What do you guys think? Do you think the Titans are just going to bowl right through the Chiefs like I do? Or do you think the Chiefs will be like, yeah, that's cute. We're going to throw for 800 yards and 10 touchdowns anyways. Go ahead. Run seven touchdowns in. We'll throw for 10. <laughs> and as always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have a wonderful day.